Hi dear cricket fans and subscribers, uh, this is your host Ram welcoming you uh, to your daily edition of uh, Cricket Happening Show. Well, I do apologize dear friends and subscribers that, you know, I'm not able to really uh, keep up to my schedule because of my, you know, very busy office work and then it becomes very late at night where I am not able to because if the matches are not completed before I leave for office, then probably I'm not able to actually complete it. And at night, uh, you know, I don't really get enough time to really get back to that. So what I'm doing today <coughs> is uh, basically, uh, you know, recollecting the recollecting what happened yesterday. OK, so I'm going to start off with the fourth ODI between West Indies and uh, Pakistan, uh, which was uh, played here at the Kensington Oval Bridgetown in Barbados. And well, uh, West Indies, very, very luckily, I would say one by one run by the Duckworth Lewis method after rain interrupted play and the target was actually reduced to 223 of 39 overs well it was um, so actually it was the for, for Pakistan they have nothing to lose uh, it's only a matter of for West Indies it's a consolation victory but that consolation victory came uh, very very luckily because what happened was Wayne Bravo actually smashed the six um, of the balling of Saeed Ajmal uh, which really helped matters because after that rain came down in a torrent and it was all over and they had to decide it by the Duckworth Lewis method and well by in fact West Indies won by just one run in the Duckworth Lewis method as far as the Pakistani innings were concerned <coughs> they mustered 248 for 9 after actually the West Indies actually won the toss and inserted the Pakistanis in and well it was a very very good century from Mohammad Hafiz. Mohammad Hafiz is second century in his eighth year uh, career and well he's been growing from strength to strength and he was playing some very neat shots down the leg side and he also hit some big hits too. He went after the spinners, he hit Sami for sixes, Bishu for sixes, uh, he hit all that and uh, well Mohammad Hafiz was simply superb. He made 121 of 138 balls, seven fours and three sixes. He combined into a wonderful partnership uh, with his uh, partner Asad Shafiq, who was not, uh, who, who played a very very supporting role. He did not go for much uh, fancy strokes, or he was not. He was just waiting there, rotating the strike along with Mohammad Afif. Played very very sensibly. They lost an early wicket of Hamid Shahzad to the bowling approach, and then this was a 153 run partnership, which was very very crucial because. After this, uh, no no one from the Pakistani uh, batting lineup really played uh, uh, played well, and uh, it was a very sorry tale. So Mohammad Afiz made 121, uh, and uh, Asad Shafiq made 71 of just 102 balls with four fours. A very impressive innings from the young Asad Shafiq, and then uh, and then it was a precision. Shahid Afridi cheaply dismissed for eight. Musbah luck falling for five. Hamad Azam uh, went for one. Usman Salahuddin made his debut today was uh, run out for five of just eight deliveries. Mohamed Salman was run out for not. Tanvir Ahmed was the one who actually cracked two sixes. Uh, he hit uh, two sixes and uh, he went to a score of, uh, um, uh, he was 18, uh, he was the, he, he was out for 18 of just 12 deliveries, one four and two sixes. Saeed Ajmal was not out on five. Jinayat Khan not out on one, 248 for nine. The balling, Ravi Rampal is absolutely on the money. In fact, in the five overs, he has considered only seven runs. He was absolutely superb and it was uh, he, uh, he struck a very good line in length and he impressed one and all 10 overs two maidens none for 37 rose 10 overs two for 67 was very very costly Wayne bravo 10 overs two for 60 was very costly his field he was not uh, good at all uh, darren sami 10 overs none for 46 three for 37 for devendra bishu continued to impress there as far as west indies were concerned uh, for west indies lindy simmons at uh, the top of the order played a very good inning 76 of 70 deliveries, four fours and three sixes, two sixes hit of uh, Sohail Tanvir, and Sohail Tanvir was the man who got Lindy Simmons. But Lindy Simmons, uh, uh, Edwards, Kirk Edwards was a new opener today. He he actually gave his wicket away. He was caught behind the bowling of Junaid Khan for a knot. Uh, uh, Darren Bravo came in, combined into a good partnership with Lindy Simmons, who was aggressive right from the word go. And uh, Dwayne Bra and Darren Bravo played some pleasing strokes. 21 of just 26 balls in the 56 run partnership, three fours. He was gone of a victim of Junaid Khan. Sarwan disappointed by holding out after struggling for 28 of 56 balls with 1-4 and uh, Lendy Simmons was the man who played a real beautiful knock and he, uh, it looks like Lendy Simmons is in some prime form here and that is uh, something uh, which is uh, which West Indies will really really take. He, he was out for 76 of 70 deliveries, 4-4s and 3-6s. 
and the end Marlon Samuels and then the brain came uh, and that was it and Dwayne Bravo as I said uh, hit that 6 which really settled matters 11 not out of 15 balls 1-6 Marlon Samuels is not on 8 of 12 balls 1-4 and that's it 154 for 4 in front of but uh, by the Duckworth Lewis method, West Indies luckily won by one run. Junaid Khan, 6 overs, 2 for 26, bowled well today. Tanvi Rahman, 6 overs, 1 for 45, was costly. Shahid Afridi, 6.5 overs for 32 runs. Shahid Ajmal, 4 overs for 16. Mohamed Afiz, 6 overs, 1 for 26. Ahmad Azam bowled just 1 over for 9 runs. Mohamed Afiz of Pakistan for his century was named Man of the Match. Now, the next match that I would like to talk about is the 41st match in the DLF IPL League 2011, which was played between Delhi Daredevils and Kochi Tuskers Kerala. Now, Kochi Tuskers actually won the match for Delhi Daredevils. Uh, they made 140. They struggled. The bowling was very good from the Kochi Tuskers. Uh, they gave them some early rewards by actually uh, the, 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 the man of the match was P. Parmeshwaran of Kochi Tuskers Kerala, who made his debut here in the IPL 2011. And he also got the man of the match uh, for his uh, splendid bowling. He had figures of 4 overs, no man, 2 for 9. He picked up the very, very vital wicket of Virinder Sehwak for 15 of just 9 deliveries. 2 fours, 1 6. David Warner was a victim of uh, Shreesan for 13 of 15 balls, 2 fours. Uh, they, 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 they really didn't get any going at all. The wickets started falling at regular intervals. Um, um, Oja was out for 13, Yogesh Nagar 18, Vinugo Paul Ra was the one who contributed 40 of 36 balls, 5 fours. Travis Burt, uh, you know. And he just kept hitting the ball, uh, collected 27 of just 15 deliveries, 5 fours, 140 for 6 on the board for the Delhi Daredevils. R.P. Singh was 4 overs, 1 for 28, 1 for 24 for Shreeson, and Parameshwar and 4 overs, no made in 2 for 29, Vinay Kumar 2 for 25 of 4, Ralphie Gomez 2 overs for 16, Jadeja 2 overs, no made in 1 for 16, Kochi Tuskers Kerala, I would say, had it very, very easy. They completed the victory in the 15th over itself. They lost Michael Klinger, LBW ball, Van Ramo for 18 of 20 balls, 3 fours. Uh, Brendan McCullum and Parthiv Patel uh, contributed 37 apiece with uh, Brendan McCullum really going after the bowling, uh, hitting 37 of just 19 deliveries initially, targeting both Irfan Patan and Mon Morkel to reduce their figures like Irfan Patan 4 overs went for 38, Mon Morkel 3 overs no made and 1 for 29 and uh, uh, Brendan McCullum uh, made 37 of just 19 deliveries, 5 overs and 2 sixes. Uh, you could see the strike rate, 194 was his strike rate. Parthiv Patel was not out on 37 and the victory came off 31 balls with 5 fours. Jay Vidhani was run out for 7. Hodge remained not out on 24 of 13 balls, 3 fours and 1 six. The victory was Kochi Taskers Kerala by 7 wickets, 141 for 3. Patan, I've already spoken about the bowling figures. Umesh Yadav was uh, carted by Brendan McCullum for 23 runs in 1 over and he never bowled after that. Ajit Agarkar, 3 overs, none for 18 was good. Real of Mandover, 3 overs, number 1 for 15, bowled well. 1 over for 15 for Yogesh Nagar. The P permission of Kochi Tuskers Kerala making his debut was impressive with his bowling and he got the Man of the Match award. Now I take you live to the uh, match which is going to be playing played today at uh, Hyderabad between Deccan Charles and Kolkata Knight Riders, the 42nd match of the IPL 2011. The news I have here is as Deccan Chargers captain um, uh, Kumar Sangakra has won the toss and elected to field. So Kolkata Knight Riders will be taking strike. And one important news uh, uh, about uh, when I talk about Kolkata, uh, today the news that I have is that Saurav Ganguly, uh, the former batsman who was uh, ousted from the Kolkata Knight Riders team, will be playing for Pune Warriors as cover for Ashish Nehra who is injured. So that has come as a big surprise, but uh, according to them, they feel the Pune Warriors uh, uh, think tank feels that uh, Saurav Ganguly would do uh, a world of good. Uh, to the Pune Warriors team who are struggling at that moment with six consecutive defeats. So that is going to be really, really interesting to see how Saurav Ganguly shapes up. Now we did see Saurav Ganguly giving some live cricket commentary uh, along with all the fellow commentators Sunil Gavaskar, Ravi Shastri and all the other uh, 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 Michael Atherton, Nasir Hussain when the World Cup 2011 was on and I thought uh, he, his commentary was absolutely superb. Uh, he, he was really, he's a very good reader of the game he, he, and it was very good to hear him. But uh, well, now he will have the willow in his hand uh, to actually prove himself against the Pune Warriors and make Kolkata Knight Riders feel that well, they, well, well, they lost a very, uh, a very valuable uh, player in Saurav Ganguly. Well, good luck to Saurav Ganguly then uh, for uh, playing against uh, playing for Pune Warriors team and good luck to the Pune Warriors team. That that brings to an end uh, my cricket report uh, or cricket happening show for the day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Until then, it's Ram. Bidding goodbye. Thank you.